Hello everyone. Present here virtually. I am a Sakshi here, and I will and I welcome you all the today's session, which is titled as Need of Personality Development among the Student Teachers and Working Executive. And presenting this session, we'll have with us our today's session, uh, today's expert, Rafik Leon. Rafik Leon is a Assistant Professor of Management Studies in a Government Degree College, Subhal Kashmir. He is a one of the very few accredited management teachers for All India Management Association, New Delhi. He is a also certified BFSI trainer from uh, IIS Mumbai. Rafik has worked from uh, companies like Airtel, Bajaj, and uh, J and K Bank. Uh, prior uh, to coming into academic and he, uh, currently he is a convenient uh, career counseling guidance and a placement sale at a government degree college subhal kashmir he is a guest lecturer to ignou and a department of distance education kashmir university his area of interest include general business management, OB, and personality development. You may start now, sir. Please unmute yourself, sir. Good morning, Sakshi. Uh, thank you for the nice introduction you presented. Um, just wanted to know, is it like that uh, we are being uh, live streamed on YouTube as well, right? Okay, so uh, I will start. I cannot see many people joining in. Maybe they are joining through live streaming. So I hope I'm audible. Uh, so we'll start uh, the program. Uh, the Sir. Yes, please, Umar. Yes, I will call you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We start, okay, we start uh, from uh, the first slide Need of Personality Development, uh, development Among Students, Teachers, Working Executives. And uh, as already given a brief introduction by Sakshi, I would like to. Um, uh, you know, read it, read the title once again for you. That is need for personality development among students, teachers, and working executives. I'm Rafiq Lone. Uh, I hope you will be hearing me loud and clear, and I hope you are able to see the presentation. In case you are not, you may please uh, drop me a message or a voice message, or you can uh, text Sakshi so that she can direct me accordingly. So I'm Rafiq Lohm. I'm an assistant professor and a corporate trainer. I presently work in Government Degree College, Sumbal. Um, I would like to thank in the first instance uh, research, the Research Circle Initiative for giving me an, me an opportunity to be a part of this initiative uh, to uh, organize or rather to host this um, talk. I won't call it a lecture or a presentation. I would say it would be a two-way talk if you want to uh, say something in between, you're most welcome. So uh, if we go uh, start with the title of the talk, Need for Personality Development Among the Students, Teachers, and Working Executives. It's uh, basically not about any particular community, be it students, researchers, teachers, or working executives. What it actually is that there is a need of personality development for every individual. At in certain point of time in life, you may find a stagnation or in the beginning of your career, or even if you're doing something already, there is a need of continuous development, right? So in modern era, uh, we are hearing a lot about personality development. So we'll be discussing what is the need of it and uh, uh, why basically we go for personality development and what's the need for it and how do we, what consists of personality development? So the title, which mentions students, teachers, and working executives is basically not an inclusive one, right? Although I am the one who has proposed this title, but then it is personality development is for almost everybody who wants to, you know, um, uh, 
climb the ladder ladder of um, professionalism or in personal life as well so there is a need for personality development that means you can deliver more than what you are currently delivering if you have a properly groomed personality right so uh, i'll start uh, with uh, slide 1 personality development right so to start this personality development uh, we firstly need to know what personality means right and what personality development is i would like to start with a um, example uh, maybe uh, that would not be a professional example to start with uh, but an example that will uh, make us understand the concept uh, Look, we have, for example, we, we go to some party or fix, for example, somebody is going for a wedding ceremony. Yeah, okay, somebody is getting wedded, right? So what we do for the wedding day, we make certain preparations, right? So we um, choose a dress uh, which behoves a bride or a bridegroom, right? Then we accordingly go to maybe a parlor, um, a boutique, and then get our uh, attire, uh, you know, um, as per the needs of the, that very ceremony, right? So uh, what does that mean? That means we have a personality of our own, but for the special occasion of wedding or a party, we tend to do certain things uh, in order to um, be more presentable, in order to be more noticeable, in order to be more impressive in that very function, right? So these small things that we do uh, for a wedding of our own, or if we're going to a wedding party, so you're basically grooming yourself up right for that occasion so when it is the when is the question of our life of our profession of our livelihood so our personality needs to be permanently developed though we cannot say that there is something a permanent quick fix for development or uh, you need to be continuously evolving changing so that we have a personality which matches the requirements of the market the uh, requirements of the environment so to start with we will start with what we started with the uh, what personality development is, what need for it. So personality development basically is that if somebody is a doctor, he is a doctor, is a trained surgeon, that's perfectly all right. We don't doubt his capabilities of being a surgeon, being a doctor, being a medical graduate, but then he needs to have something in addition to be more presentable, to be more, uh, you know, we can say uh, accommodative with the patient, to be more passionate with the patient, to be to act as an extrovert while you're dealing with your patient. So personality development per se is not for only students, working professionals or teachers, although in this presentation, in this session, we'll be focusing mainly upon on these um, three, uh, you know, uh, uh, parameters that we have taken up for the topic, but personality development is broad. Any officer, any person, even a person who is um, not in a job, a person who is into his business needs to have a developed personality so that the way the moment he negotiates the moment he interacts with his customers he has a personality which delivers results so personality has an important role to play in the success of a person right in not only the professional success but the personal success as well the example which i started with of going to a wedding party and grooming yourself up use an example of a personal personality development right so this personality development does not encompass only the professional part of it. it. It can encompass the personal part as well. So if you want, say, for example, um, if, you, if, if, you, if you are a bachelor or if you are not married as of now, if you want to get a good uh, match for yourself, so you need to have a better personality, right? So personality development goes a long way. So begin with the definition, we'll begin with the definition of personality development and basically two words. One is personality and second is development, right? So what is basically personality development? We commonly may use the term personality, right? So commonly we use it for good looks. He has got a good personality, right? But it is a bit more than that. What basically personality is, personality is some total of attitudes, right? I may look very nice um, in office. I may look very nice at a wedding, but I may not look um, very nice when I am at home or some any other occasion. So what... Personality means, it means a sum total of all of these. So basically what happens, I have an attitude. I have an, again, attitude is a term which is mistakenly used in most of the time. We say that person is having an attitude. That means we basically infer from that communication that that person is not having a good attitude, right? So attitude, again, uh, when we talk in uh, organizational behavior or psychological terms is a much more 
um, complex term than we use in the common language, both the terms, attitude as well as personality. So what is personality then? The sum total of attitudes that contributes to one's personality. Say, for example, uh, my uh, attitude as a teacher, right? Um, I happen to be a teacher. So my attitude with the students defines my attitude as a teacher. So my attitude as a husband, my attitude as a father, my attitude as a son. So my, when I say attitude uh, to, uh, you know, uh, to make it uh, look easier and simpler, I would say my behavior as a father, as a son, as a subordinate, as a boss, as a teacher. So these are different attitudes uh, that make up my personality, right? So uh, we can um, safely conclude that some total of attitudes contribute to the personality of a person. So when we say a person was looking good at the party, but he was not looking good in the office. So that means the personality is not coherent. It is not uh, what we can say. Uh, it is not uh, in a continuity. So some you may, we may call somebody as a great personality when you see that the attitudes are consistent over a period of time. They are consistent with the occasions, right? So um, uh, what we are beginning with is the definition of personality. So what makes up uh, the, the behavioral component of a person is the personality. And it, again, it has two components. How you look also contributes to the personality of a person. How you behave with other people, how you socialize, again, has an effect on the personality development, uh, on the personality of a person. So this is one part of the personality. The way you behave, the way people perceive you, the attitudes you have with your people who, with whom you interact. So as I told, I repeat at the, uh, you know, uh, that uh, you may have an attitude as a teacher, as a working professional, as a student, as a guide, as a mentor, as a, uh, as a father. So all these, when you combine and you come up with the personality idea of a person, so that is basically what is the personality. So not one incidence sums up the personality of a person. Somebody looking good at a wedding party does not necessarily mean that he's having a good overall personality. So you need to interact with that person. The, the, the moment you interact, the moment uh, you know him, you have seen him on a couple of occasions, you know how he behaves with his supervisory staff, with his subordinates. So you can have an idea of that personality. So uh, within the domain of our topic, we're discussing it about students, teachers, and working executives, right? So every student, uh, every executive, as I told you in the beginning, every person would like to deliver more, right? on uh, what he's already being able to do, given his knowledge, given his understanding, given his skill. So if you are a student with um, getting 70% marks, getting 75% marks, and uh, having an average personality, a person having the same set of skills, same set of aptitude and um, attitude, but having a better personality, having a better presentable personality, may be able to fetch a little more in the market. Right, so that's for a student. And uh, effectively, if you are a working person, <clears throat> say an assistant in an office, or you are you happen to be a teacher, so your chances of promotion, your chances of um, getting into uh, uh, better avenues is more if you have a developed personality, right? So now coming back to the slide, one was personality that we discussed, then there is development. So what is the development basically? We say development is a lifelong process. Nobody can say that I'm a developed person now, right? You may be a trained person, but you cannot be a developed person because, because developing is a continuous process. Nobody can say, now I have everything in the world, I have everything in You learn from cradle to grave. In San, uh, we cradle in Kashmiri, we call it Manzul. I don't know what exactly we call it in Hindi. Uh, so you learn from uh, the cradle to grave. So the whole life is basically the process of continuous development, right? So what is this development? It's a continuous improvement that you learn and that you apply in your life to become, uh, to become a better human being, to become a better person to interact with, right? So we often in sciences use a term called sustainable development. So development there by definition means the same. But sustainable is something which remains all the life long. A developmental thing which does not remain with you all the life, we say it is development, but maybe not sustainable, right? So how development differs from a training program is that you may go for a developmental program or you may go for a training program. A training program is very specific. Say you want to go for a mobile repairing training program, very specific, short time, you go there, 
you learn how to fix a mobile, how to fix the screen, how to fix the IC, how to fix the charger, a port stuff. So that is a training program, short term meant for those people who do not have any other skill or who do not have a bigger skill or who do not have a, have a bigger, bigger source of income. So you go, you learn a particular skill. And then if you wish to uh, work in that very sector, you earn out of it. If you do, say tomorrow shift some other sector, this training may or may have not help you in the other sector. But when it comes to development, development is a continuous process. So whatever you learn in a developmental program will stay with you forever. Say, for example, if you enroll for a communication um, skills program, if you go for a public speaking course, say if somebody of you is uh, good at academics, good at doing stuff, but not good at public speaking. So what you do, uh, what you do is basically, say if you enroll for a uh, public speaking program, so that is something you can stay with all your life. So as a student, you learn public, you, you know, you learned, you enrolled for a program for public speaking. So um, the moment uh, you enroll for it, the moment you learn how, uh, you know, what basics are to be done when in case of public speaking, no matter if tomorrow you become an entrepreneur, you become a teacher, you become an, an, some another working executive, you start a business of your own, you become an entrepreneur, or you become a government servant, or you become a civil servant or a police officer, these public speaking skills uh, will be effective and will be helping you all through. So this is how development uh, you know, differs from a training program. So personality development, if you learn it, if you uh, not basically learn it, if you practice it rather, uh, the, the, the benefits are going to stay with you for long. If you uh, start practicing personality development uh, activities and you, if you make them a habit um, at whatever stage in life you do, and then uh, uh, the, uh, that from that very day onwards, you will try to imbibe it in your, yourself and you will be able to see a transformation in yourself, which will stay with you, unlike a training program, right? A training program may or may not help you once you change your job, once you change your um, you know, studies, uh, maybe you shift from arts to commerce or from commerce to arts or from science to commerce, right? So this is going to stay with you, any developmental program. So personality development is what it is the lifelong development of your personality, the way in which you interact with others, the way you behave, the way and the physical components of it, the way you look, the way you present yourself, right? So this is, uh, we started with the uh, uh, introduction to personality development. Uh, moving on to the next slide. Now, um, why personality de development? Why should we go for, why should we, you know, um, identify ourselves with the personality development? Uh, I would start it with uh, something as uh, called as SWOT analysis. Um, some of you who um, have studied psychology or management uh, or have gone through a, uh, any other kind of a similar program would be aware of something called as SWOT analysis. What is SWOT analysis is basically uh, the strengths, weakness, opportunities, and threats analysis. So what is personality development? The first thing is we really that I need to know my personality. I need to know myself as a person, a person uh, with certain uh, strengths, with certain uh, weaknesses. And uh, uh, if you go by the third line of the slide, strengths that lead to opportunities. A strength that you have will lead you to an opportunity. A weakness that you have will lead you to a threat, right? So um, SWOT analysis is not true only for individuals, even big organizations, corporations, <coughs> sorry, they go for uh, SWOT analysis. So what is it? It is basically the analysis, the understanding, the identification of one's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So every strength, an organization, an individual, a group has will lead to some opportunities. The physical strengths can be physical or behavioral. See, if you are a good gentleman of good height with a good physique, you may get an opportunity, a better opportunity to work for police services or for defense or for security uh, departments, right? Compared to a guy who's not having a, you know, having good physique, having good health. So this is a physical strength that can lead to an opportunity. And this can be some, um, there can be some behavioral strengths and weaknesses as well, right? So strengths, physical or non-physical, will lead to certain opportunities. 
weakness is again either physical or uh, behavioral will lead you to threat so as i told you earlier i repeat that swot analysis is not something for individuals only you have big organizations going for swot analysis say for example state bank of india happens to be a big bank right say there are certain state uh, smaller banks when they try to operate in any part of uh, india or any other part of the country where they already see some banks working so what do they do they basically see their own strengths and weaknesses so what is the point that i am more stronger than an established bank so this is something i am talking about institutional point of view so if you are not connecting to it if you are not been into commerce and management studies leave it will come to the basic of it uh, that if for example you as a person you work in an organization or you you study in a college or you study in a university right so there are some people who uh, uh, come from uh, uh, better uh, backgrounds in terms of the schools they have gone to in terms of the marks they have in terms of the exposure they have but then how do i make a point or how do i make a identity of my own so I, what do i do the first thing that's very important is that as a person i need to know my weaknesses i need to know my strengths and i need to know that my strengths will give me some opportunity in coming times and my weakness can lead to a threat ye hame bahut khayal rakhna hai is cheez mein agar aap kisi bhi personality development mein baat karte hain ya aap chahte hain ki aapki personality jo ho wo isse behtar ho jaye aapke current jo aap jiske aap malik hain to aapki personality to aapko pehli cheez jo karni hogi aapne वो आपको अपने स्ट्रेंथ्स और वीकनेसेस पता होने चाहिए आपने ठीक है ना तो मेरी स्ट्रेंथ क्या है मैं किस चीज में अच्छा हूं और मेरी कौन सी वीकनेस है से फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई वेस्ट टाइम आई एम अ प्रोक्रेस्टिनेटर जो आज काम करना होता है वो कल करता हूं कल का काम परसों पे छोड़ देता हूं दिस इज व्हाट वी कॉल एज प्रोक्रेस्टिनेशन इन इंग्लिश सो अगेन इट इज अ वीकनेस इट कैन लीड टू सर्टेन थ्रेट्स इट कैन लीड टू सर्टेन प्रॉब्लम्स इट कैन लीड टू सर्टेन यू नो अपॉर्चुनिटीज गेटिंग वेस्ट राइट सो व्हाट डू यू डू द फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट in fact i tell you do it today the moment you sleep uh, you go to sleep uh, tonight just close your eyes and try to think about your strengths and weaknesses what are you good at you must be good at something you might have identified it or not so you make a list of your strengths what are you good at and what opportunities it can give you at the cost of repetition i would like to give that example again if you are have if you are a tall guy having good physique this is going to you know you are going to have a plus point an edge if you are preparing for a uh, police exam if you are preparing for a defense exam right so then make a list of your weaknesses that for example which be honest to yourself be honest to yourself being honest to yourself uh, solves a lot of problems and makes life easy so uh, look look towards yourself and see where i'm lacking where i'm weak so that uh, you do not have to regret later that i didn't know that this is the problem that i had right so the weakness will lead to a threat so what we do we um identify our strengths and if we want to develop our personality if we want to have a personality better than we are currently having right so the first thing that needs to be done is identifying your strengths and weaknesses the moment you do it you will realize that where you want to do what 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 needs to be done so what actually needs to be done you need to polish your strengths jo aapke strengths hain तो आपको उनको ज्यादा से ज्यादा उजागर करना है उनपे ज्यादा से ज्यादा काम करना है ताकि आपको ज्यादा अपॉर्चुनिटी क्योंकि ये एक ऐसा एरिया है जो आपको अल्लाह ने खुद ही दिया हुआ है जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल मैंने अभी अच्छे फिजिक की बात करी ये इट्स समथिंग विच इज गॉड गिफ्टेड एज ऑफ नाउ सो टेक केयर ऑफ योर हेल्थ राइट बिकॉज दिस इज समथिंग विच इज कमिंग टू यू नेचुरली कम टू मदर गाइड और समबडी इज हैविंग से एन एटीट्यूड ऑफ बींग एन एक्सट्रोवर्ट अच्छा लगता है लोगों के साथ बात करना कोई और होता है इंट्रोवर्ट हु डजन वांट टॉक टू पीपल इज नॉट कंफर्टेबल विद डीलिंग विद अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल राइट सो द पर्सन हु इज एन एक्सट्रोवर्ट इज इट्स अ स्ट्रेंथ सो ही वुड बी अ गुड पर्सन एट पब्लिक डीलिंग टुमारो सो द पर्सन हु इज इंट्रोवर्ट इफ ही फाइंड्स दैट दिस इज माय वीकनेस यू नीड टू वर्क अपॉन दिस दैट मींस यू नीड टू मेक द इफेक्ट ऑफ योर वीकनेसेस लेस एंड लेस ऑन योर पर्सनालिटी गेटिंग माय पॉइंट so you need to you know you need to sharpen your good skills and you need to reduce your weaknesses so that it does not give you threats is that right so what we do we do we do we do the sword analysis of ourselves we uh, find our strengths because we know they are going to give us opportunities then we find our weaknesses so because we know that is going to give us a threat in future then every individual has a set of fact you know um, factors that contribute to the sword What does it mean? हर एक इंसान की अपनी अच्छाइयां होती हैं हाँ 
अब जैसे समबडी बिकम्स अ गुड स्पोर्ट्स मैन ठीक है समबडी डज नॉट सो नेसेसरीली या समबडी बिकम्स अ गुड टीचर समबडी डज नॉट नेसेसरीली दो पीपल हु आर वेरी सक्सेसफुल इन लाइफ उन उनके साथ क्या हुआ होता है वो अपनी आइडेंटिटी वो अपनी जो उनका स्ट्रांग पॉइंट है उसको पहले ही बहुत आइडेंटिफाई कर पाए होते हैं कि ये मेरी स्ट्रेंथ है अगर मैं इस सेक्टर में काम करूंगा तो मैं इसमें एक्सेल कर पाऊंगा सो दो पीपल रियली एक्सेल इन लाइफ हर एक इंसान हर एक इंसान के पास अपनी स्ट्रेंथ्स होती हैं अपनी खूबियां होती हैं अपनी वीकनेसेस होती हैं कोई पढ़ाई में अच्छा अच्छा होता है कोई खेल कूद में अच्छा होता है किसी के एनालिटिकल स्ट्रेंथ स्ट्रांग होते हैं कोई मैथमेटिक्स में स्ट्रांग होता है किसी का इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज स्ट्रांग होता है किसी के सोशल स्किल्स स्ट्रांग होते हैं सो so, हर एक इंसान की अपनी स्ट्रेंथ्स हैं उसकी अपनी वीकनेसेस हैं तो ये हमें आइडेंटिफाई करनी पड़ेगी पहले अगर आप अपनी पर्सनैलिटी को डेवलप करना चाहते हैं तो देन आइडेंटिफाइंग द नीड फॉर पर्सनैलिटी डेवलपमेंट जो ही आपको पता चल गई कि मेरी स्ट्रेंथ्स हैं आप उन स्ट्रेंथ्स को और ज्यादा उभारना है और आपकी जो वीकनेसेस है उनको कम करना है तो वही आपका ये जो है दैट मीन जब आपने ठान ली कि जो मेरी वीकनेसेस हैं पर्टिकुलरली अगर वो आपके पर्सनैलिटी के लेकर है इनको ठीक करना है तो आपने आइडेंटिफाई कर लिया आपने नीड फॉर पर्सनैलिटी डेवलपमेंट इज दैट राइट देन ये जो सोर्ट एनालिसिस है आप में से जो हमने पढ़ा होगा ये किताबी सूरत में तो वी से सोर्ट एनालिसिस देन वी से स्वॉक एनालिसिस एस डब्ल्यू ओ सी व्हाट डज दैट मीन बेसिकली अगर आप अपने सोर्ट एनालिसिस अपना करेंगे और उस पर काम स्टार्ट करना स्टार्ट करेंगे जो थ्रेट्स हैं वो आहिस्ता आहिस्ता आप उनको चैलेंजेस में कन्वर्ट करेंगे उसका क्या मतलब होता है थ्रेट होता है जिससे आप डरते हैं जिससे आपको लगता है कि मैं इसको पार नहीं कर पाऊंगा ठीक है एग्जाम को देखने के दो तरीके हैं से आपका किसी डिफिकल्ट पेपर का एग्जाम आ रहा है आज के दो तरीके हैं देखने के जब आपकी कोई प्रिपरेशन नहीं होती तो ये आपके लिए थ्रेट होता है ठीक है तो जब आप इसके लिए तैयारी करते हैं आप टीचर के पास जाते हैं आप फ्रेंड्स को कंसल्ट करते हैं या आप किताब से स्टडी कर लेते हैं तो आप इसको बतेरे के चैलेंज लेते हैं ये भी हो सकता है खुदा ना आप फेल हो जाए इसमें बट देन यू टेक इट आज ए चैलेंज सो थ्रेट इज समिंग विच इज नेगेटिव नेगेटिव वर्ड चैलेंज इज अ पॉजिटिव वर्ड सो वंस यू वर्क ऑन यूर सॉरी पर्सनैलिटी डेवलपमेंट वंस यू वर्क ऑन यूर पर्सनैलिटी यूल बी एबल टू चेंज द स्वर्ट टू स्वर्क दैट मीन दैट यूल बी एबल टू चेंज यूल बी एबल टू कन्वर्ट दीज थ्रेट्स इन टू चैलेंजेस राइट सो वंस यू डू दिस a better personality is demanded nowadays a better personality is demanded nowadays as i started with an example of a doctor a lawyer needs to have a personality jisse wo apna point of view ek judge ke samne acche se pesh kar sake apne client ko wo satisfy kar sake theek hai ek doctor ka acha doctor hona hi zaruri nahi hai balki uska ek patient ke sath achhe se deal kar pana achhi baat hai aksar hum pediatrics mein dekhte hain kai doctors bahut successful hote hain बच्चों के डॉक्टर पीडियाटिशियंस बोलते हैं उनका सक्सेस का राज मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स क्या होता है कि वो अपनी कि वो बच्चों की माएं जो होती है जो कि पेरेंट्स होते हैं उनके साथ अच्छे से बात कर उनके साथ अच्छे से कम्युनिकेट कर सकते हैं उनकी अच्छे से सुनते हैं उनको अच्छे से बताते हैं ठीक है तो वो उनकी सक्सेस का राज होता है अदरवाइज एनी पीडियाटिशियन उसने प्लस माइनस सेम किताबें पढ़ी हुई है प्लस माइनस सेम उनका स्किल सेट है जो आम बीमारियां बच्चों में होती हैं इक्वली कॉम्पिटेंट होते हैं ट्रीट करने के लिए विद सम एक्सेप्शन बट वॉट मेक समी गुड पीडियाटिशन इज प्रोबेबली द वे ही इंटरेक्ट विद पेरेंट्स द वे ही इज एबल टू सेटिस्फाई हम अक्सर देखते हैं कुछ पेरेंट सेटिस्फाई नहीं होते पीडियाटिशन वो बात ही नहीं सुनता है वो डॉक्टर साहब यहाँ की सिर्फ वहां की बोलता है बिल्कुल काम टाइम दे देता है तो दैट मीन द पर्सन द डॉक्टर विल बी अ ब्रिलियंट डॉक्टर बट हिज पर्सनैलिटी हिज एटीट्यूड एज अ डॉक्टर टूवर्ड्स पेशेंट मे नॉट बी सेटिस्फैक्ट्री सिमिलरली एक टीचर बहुत अच्छा टीचर हो सकता है काबिल हो सकता है नॉलेजेबल हो सकता है लेकिन स्टूडेंट के साथ कनेक्ट नहीं कर पा रहा है उसमें वो पब्लिक डीलिंग के स्किल्स नहीं है ठीक है ना तो दैट दैट मीन्स वॉट सो वो उसके नॉट ओनली की उसकी डिलीवरी खराब हो जाती है बट जो उसका प्रोस्पेक्टस है जो उसका प्रोस्पेक्टस है आगे चलने का शायद उस पर भी असर पड़ सकता है इसी तरह से एक वर्किंग एग्जीक्यूटिव है जो क्लर्क की, की जॉब कर रहा है बैंक में so if he is able to communicate finally if he is able to communicate in a better way with his boss with his peers uske promotion ho ke wo clerk assistant manager assistant manager se manager ja sakta hai kabiliyat ko constant rakhte hue agar teen logo ki kabiliyat same hai to aage kon jayega jiski better personality hogi to personality better kaise hogi jab aapne apni identify ki hogi apni personality mein ki meri personality mein kya khamiyan hai theek hai na so किस किस जगह आपको पर्सनैलिटी डेवलपमेंट काम आएगी इंटरव्यूज 
ठीक है अगर आप स्टूडेंट हैं तो आप अगर किसी अच्छे कोर्स में जाना चाहते हैं जैसे आप किसी अच्छे इंस्टीट्यूट से एम करना चाहते हैं ठीक है तो आपको न सिर्फ रिटर्न एग्जाम देना पड़ेगा बल्कि आपको एक इंटरव्यू भी फेस करना होगा या अगर आप किसी फॉरेन यूनिवर्सिटी में जा रहे हैं ठीक है तो आपको वहां पढ़ने के लिए एम्बेसी पे या उस यूनिवर्सिटी में इंटरव्यूज देने पड़ेंगे तो इंटरव्यूज में वो क्या देखते हैं बिहेवियरल पार्ट देखते हैं आप कितना जानते हैं आपको कितना पता है आप कितनी नॉलेज रखते हैं वो उनको आपकी सर्टिफिकेट से पता चल गया बट टू एस एस दिहेवियरल पार्ट ऑफ इट सो इंटरव्यूज जब भी आप देते हैं तो आपने जो भी कुछ किया होता है लाइफ के पांच साल दस साल या पंद्रह साल में आपको एक मौका मिलता है पांच मिनट में दस मिनट में या पंद्रह मिनट में किसी बंदे के सामने उसको पेश करने का से फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू आर अ वेरी नाइस पर्सन यू आर अ वेरी गुड बी कॉम गाय हु नोज अकाउंट वेरी वेल एंड हु इज एबल टू प्रैक्टिस अकाउंट लेकिन वो जो पांच मिनट इंटरव्यू किए थे उसमें आप सेटिस्फाई नहीं कर पाए इंटरव्यूअर को क्यों क्योंकि आपको बात करनी नहीं आई आपको वहां पर सही से बैठना नहीं आया आपको ड्रेस करना प्रॉपरली नहीं आया जो डिजर्व जो वो टाइम डिमांड करता था तो उसकी वजह से क्या होगा यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू गेट दैट जॉब सो इन स्पाइट ऑफ हैविंग द स्किल यू आर नॉट एबल टू गेट दैट जॉब राइट सो इंटरव्यूज में आपकी पर्सनैलिटी का अच्छा होना बहुत जरूरी है ग्रुप डिस्कशन सर्टन कोर्सेज जैसे जर्नलिज्म है अगर आप जर्नलिज्म में कोर्स करना चाहते हैं तो यू माइट बी आस्क टू गो फॉर ग्रुप डिस्कशन ग्रुप डिस्कशन इज अवॉर्ड कि आप दूसरों के साथ कैसे इंटरेक्ट करते हैं आप दूसरों का कितना सुनते हैं आप दूसरों के साथ कैसे पेश आते हैं आप कितना स्पेस देते हैं किसी और बंदे को आप कितना किसी एक ग्रुप पर लीडरशिप चला सकते हैं तो ये सब चीजें पर्सनैलिटी डेवलपमेंट की बात है ठीक है ना आप आपने खुद भी लाइफ में कुछ लोग ऐसे देखे होंगे जिनका मे बी टेक्निकली या स्टडी वॉज उतने ज्यादा स्ट्रांग ना हो बट उनका एक जो पर्सनालिटी होता है उनका जो एक नेचर होता है वो इन्फ्लुएंस ही होता है ऑन अदर पीपल ठीक है स्कूल लाइफ में कॉलेज लाइफ में आपने देखो किसी दोस्त का बड़ा वो स्किल होता है कि आज फलानी जगह जाएंगे तो पीपल एग्री टू हिम सो दैट्स व्हाट मे बी ही इज नॉट गुड एट स्टडीज बट दैट इज अल विच यस यस प्लीज मैम सॉरी टू इंटरप्ट यू प्लीज स्पीक इंग्लिश ओनली ओके सॉरी सॉरी मैम Okay, uh, Sakshi has instructed me to go for English because we have an audience uh, which probably does not uh, understand Hindi and Urdu. So I would try to be uh, more in English only. Okay, so I was discussing interviews, right? So personality development and interviews have a close connect. If you are able to master a good personality, the chances of your uh, getting into interviews is more. Getting through interviews is more, right? So you will be able if you are a pleasing personality, you will be able to influence the interviewer more because. as i was telling you if you have a good qualification a good skill set but you are not able to present yourself in an interview so all goes waste then is group discussions if you want to go for certain courses like journalism right so you will be asked to speak in a group a group of people will be put together and then you will be asked to speak how you speak how you let others speak how much space you give to others how many times you interrupt how do you deal with others how do you treat others how do you listen how much do you not listen all this is seen and analyzed and then they come up with the best people from the lot right so again how will you be doing that you don't know the topic of group discussion that will be given you on that day right so what will happen if you know if you have developed your personality to a level that you can sort of uh, manage a group you can you know when to let others speak when to speak yourselves you will be able to influence and you will be able to climb the ladder of your professionalism more effectively behavioral assessments basically a group interview group discussions these are all behavioral assessments right so how much knowledge you have uh, in current times you will see every examinations be it that from a service selection board from the public service commission or even from the ibps exams that banks uh, you know take scores of and any corporate exams you would see if they start with a written test or an mcq test they will end up with an interview why because any written test does not give an idea of how good a person is in terms of his behavior how good he is when he interacts with others so how good a personality a person has right so per, per, those professions which need public dealing or which need uh, close public contact or public dealing will ask you to come through interviews will ask you to come through behavioral assessments so a good personality an impressive personality an effective personality will help you in acquiring good jobs 
Yeah, and for students, it will help you to get admissions in good institutions. And for working professionals and teachers, it will fasten your um, uh, uh, you know, uh, progress and it will help you to go through promotions because most of the promotions now uh, you have to face an interview and get through, right? So what we are saying is that we need to identify the need for personality development, what are our weaknesses and strengths, because once we acquire these skills, we'll be having a better personality, which can help us in a job, in admissions, in promotions, right? So uh, just moving on. So uh, what this about, we talked a lot about personality development is needed. So what exactly is needed? What exactly do I mean when I say that we need to have a developed personality? So again, let me um, um, quote the example of interviews. Once you go for an interview, say for example, you're a guy who has done his master's, who has done a um, diploma also, and you want to apply for a job. So how much time do you expect your interview will last? Five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes? 20 minutes maximum. <clears throat> so it means that all the life you did your master's, you did your graduation, you did your diploma course, and now in 15 or 20 minutes, somebody is going to judge you. Somebody is going to see whether you are up to the mark to go for a particular job, right? So that means, Joe, uh, whatever you have uh, studied, whatever the skill set you have, you need to present it in a nice way in these minutes. Right. I hope I'm if you're not able to follow me, you can write to me or you can text me so that I can repeat something which you, you, doesn't get through to you. So interviews are very important. I'm just giving you one instance. So what you do, whatever you have done so far, whatever you have, you must be able to present it. Right. You must be able to uh, present it in a beautiful manner to the people who are interviewing you. So what you need to have, say, for example, if you are if you are the interviewer, and somebody comes in and he's having a big belly. So the impression you got of the person is that he's a lazy fellow who is not working on him himself, possibly may not work for the organization as well. So the first thing, the moment you are being interviewed, it's not that it's your skill that's being interviewed most of the time. If there has been an examination before, so you may not be interviewed for your skill, for your knowledge, but for your behavior. How do you behave in an organization? So a good personality will be something as is on your uh, slide. So physical fitness, physical as well as mental well-being, it is very important for having a good personality, right? So what's that? Physical fitness or what is physical fitness? It is physical and mental well-being. Physically and mentally being okay is what cont contributes to physical fitness and physical well-being. Then communication skills. And mind you, communication is not only good English. Uh, it's not like somebody speaks good English and he's having good communication skills. No, communication is a bigger process. Somebody might be really good, uh, very good in communicating in Urdu as well, in Hindi as well, in, um, in, in Punjabi as well, any of the languages. But yes, since English is probably the most spoken uh, language in the world, so that if that makes it uh, more important in a way that if you uh, if you if, if you master the language the chances of you communicating um, become more and particularly in developing economies uh, the, the, the the sort of uh, the the fashion element or the attractive element that is with foreign languages particularly english is immense so a person who speaks good english may normally you know catch attention may be treated as a somebody a good speaker but then as I repeat, uh, communication skill is not only about English. It's not about only speaking good English. It involves writing. It involves being clear. Clear. It involves involves being complete when you say something. Even communication involves being a good listener. So somebody said God gave us two ears and just one tongue so that we can listen twice of what we can say. So I started with physical, physical fitness, communication skills, <clears throat> dressing sense, right? So what to wear for an interview? what not to wear for an interview. Again, we do not need to confine personality development to interviews only. That is the basic folly. That is the basic mistake that we do. We leave personality to the interview day. It's not to be done. It is something which has to be a part of your daily routine. So physical fitness will not come one day before the interview. Your good speaking skills will not come one day before the interview. You may have, okay, for dressing sense, you may dress up good for that day, but then you may not be able to carry that on that day. 
एक देर इज वन थिंग विच इज कॉल्ड एज टू ड्रेस अप then there is some another thing called as to carry that dressing so if you are not used to formal dressing if you are not using to dressing yourself in a tie you will not be comfortable that day wearing a tie the, the day interview is on so dressing sense is something which uh, which you know reflects upon your personality so you you may have to different differently uh, you may have to dress differently on different occasions minimum i'll go back to them once again but let me just go for the framework first Uh, I, I'm keeping close on eye on the watch as well, so that uh, don't take much of your time, and I'm able to complete as much as possible within the given time frame. Minimum necessary IT skills. Uh, there is something minimum computers you must be knowing, right? There was a time, uh, even there are still certain doctors, still certain engineers, even some professors who are very senior who have never probably used a computer in their life. So okay, fine, uh, it worked for them. but it does not work any more for people who are young you cannot say that you do not have a working email id uh, if you say so you might probably lose a job i am personally witness to a guy uh, whom we were interviewing uh, with a panel of people from indigo airlines and uh, he did well in his exam you know we were interviewing him basically for a legal uh, advisor or rather a legal person you know for the company he did well but in the end as the interviewer asked him that will be intimating you on your email and he said uh, i have not been using my email for some time and trust me you believe me he lost his job because uh, the interviewer did not take it in a bright spirit that the gentleman has not been using his email id for months so you need to have a working email id you need to have some basic knowledge of computers i'm not telling that you need to be developing software you need to be developing you know application stuff but there is some level what we call as computer literacy there was a time where we talked about only literacy now now we talk about computer literacy there is something which is considered to be very very basic you must be having a working email id you when we can be on social social networks when we are on facebook when we are on instagram when we know how to use them what excuse does it make for any professional or any student to say that i do not know ms office i do not know how to use word i do not know you how to use excel how to use powerpoint or how to i do not have a working email id that doesn't make sense at all and nobody is going to digest it so you need to have a basic literacy of computers that's important then there is social etiquette what is social etiquette you need to know how to behave in certain positions you need to know how to behave at certain gatherings how to behave when there are a lot of people different places have a different way of uh, you know Uh, you 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 uh, your yeah, different places demand different types of behaviors from you different dressing senses from you say social etiquette is one you need to know how to behave at certain places where there are a lot of people say for example if you go to a masjid or mosque or you go to a temple or you go to a gurdwara so your dressing sense your etiquette of how you behave with other people changes considerably rather than you have be, you had been on road half um, you know half an hour before so that changes right why because you understand that this is a different um a place this is a different uh, set of people for the different purpose right so how you behave inside a classroom maybe a different how you behave in an office right so social etic it doesn't stop here only in professional circles even in personal circles right you it, it is okay to dance somewhere it is not okay to dance everywhere right so you need to know what's to be done where so um, if 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 you are going to a party and then you are being served a lunch or a dinner if there is a buffet system you will have to wait for your line and then to get your stuff and then eat it and if you, if it is not a self serve stuff things may get served to you on a table so you need to know all of this thing so that you look better in an environment where there are a lot of people and you are continuously being noticed i'll come back to it again but let me just finish the framework first then self confidence very very important life is uh, not it's easy but uh, i would say life is a bit complex right uh, you need life will knock you down life knocks everybody down there will be hardships but one thing is which must be there is optimism there are you must have seen people who get um, restless who get worried about small things uh my uh, kid has not done good in class my kid is not feeling good gives a lot of pain and agony to them then the same then you will find some other people who take oh, things very positively with optimism my kid has not done good this year but i am expecting him to do good next year 
My kid is not feeling well, but I have taken him to a good doctor. He'll be doing well in coming days. So this is optimism, whereby you give yourself hope. This is also part of the personality. <clears throat> you need not to be those uh, cry babies who are not hoping anything good will happen to them. Positive thinking, right? And time management. The last um, two words on your screen are very important. Time management. You need to devise a plan for whatever you're doing. If you are doing anything, without a plan. And Tom Peters or somebody said, if you, plan, if you fail to plan, you're actually planning to fail. No organization in the world, no school, no college, no university teaches without a timetable. No exams are held without date sheets. No hospital works without the duty roster of doctors. Why? Because it, there has to be a time limit. There has to be a time frame of when you're doing what. Why do you procrastinate? Why, uh, why do you do today's work tomorrow and tomorrow the day after? Because you don't have a proper time management and that reflects in your personality, right? So if you have good time management, you have made a, uh, if you have made a timetable of your own, it is something which will develop your personality. I'll go by the slide on your screen. I'll just uh, read it once again. These are the major components of good personality and personality development. This is not all, right? So I have tried to, given the paucity of time, I've tried to <coughs> make the main points for you. So what is a good personality? What does a good personality demand? Physical fitness. Physical as well as mental fitness. Mental well-being. So what do you do for it? If you, I told you, if you have an interview tomorrow, you cannot have a good personality the day before. So you need to be doing something so that you are mentally and physically fit. If you are quite young, if you are in your 20s, you may not feel that your body needs exercise, but it does need. So if you are in your 30s or if you are in late 30s, you need to go for it, right? So that will reflect in your personality. The, 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 the more you go for exercises, the fitter you will look, the better you will look, the, you know, the more handsome you will look, a beautiful more you look if you are a female. If you are constantly, you know, uh, working for your body uh, in terms of gymming, yoga, morning walks, uh, hijama is cupping. Uh, not many of you might be aware. It's a good uh, technique, you know. Uh, mostly uh, Olympic athletes and uh, people they go for it. Uh, some uh, people might be aware. Some might not be aware. Praying and mediation. You, uh, somebody will go for a namaz. Somebody will go for puja. These are all something which make your mind calm and allow space. Say, for example, you have stress, as we talked about the last point. Stress management, there is a great role of praying. You, depending upon the religion you are going to, you can go for, for namaz, you can go for a puja, you can go to a church, you can go for, if you don't believe any of the religion, you can go for mediation, right? Then there is yoga. Yoga, I don't think it is something religious. You can go for yoga, you can go for gymming, you can go for morning walks, but you need to be doing something for the fitness of your personality, right? You need to be doing something to be fit. You need to be doing something which makes your body and mind strong, which makes you look good, right? Which delivers results. And the first thing that you need to have a good personality is physical fitness. Then second is communication skills. So as I told you, it's not only about speaking English, it's about whatever you speak it should be concise it should be clear and it should be complete whatever you are trying to say no matter what language you are communicating in you must be able to say it clearly completely and concisely it must not be that the other person is not able to get you and then you must be able to listen properly you must be able to give the other person the time you must be able to give receive the feedback because as long as you do not receive the feedback, you will not be able to put a counter argument, right? Most of the times what happens in case of <coughs> group discussions or, or debates is basically we don't listen to each other. The moment other person is think, uh, you know, speaking, you're actually thinking that what do I speak next? That's not the way to go about it. So you need to have a good personality. How do we do that? We need to have a good physique. A good, we say a good mind rests in a good, a sound mind rests in a sound body. So you need to be doing something for your physical fitness. It can be a morning walk. It can be gymming. It can, it can be yoga. It is even related with the food stuff you're having. You need to have good food, healthier food, lots of vegetables and fruits, rather than sticking to oily stuff, rather than stick, sticking to something which is not healthy, which will affect your body in the long run. Right? No dependence on drugs. 
If you have something, if you have some ailment, try to get natural remedies for it. Prevention is better than cure. That was about physical fitness. Then communication skills. You need to speak properly. You need to speak clearly. Yes, if you have English, added advantage because certain interviews may demand that you speak in English. And how do you, by the way, improve your English language? I might, I will tell you a simple fund of uh, improving your English language. And that is, listen to me carefully. That is improve your exposure to English language. The more you expose yourself to English language in terms of reading, in terms of writing, in terms of listening, the better English you will be speaking, the better, better English language will command. It may seem uh, you know, too simplistic, but this is the fact. This is how it works. So for example, uh, uh, if you, for example, you, you are a diehard, you are a fan of uh, cricket, right? If you have been listening to Hindi, comment, I mean, Hindi commentary all the way, uh, if you start listening it in English, I'm sure, I'm very sure that you will very easily catch up with the English commentators because you love the game. And you know, you try to relay what the commentator is saying. And trust me, if you do it for consistently, that will increase your, you know, uh, being in touch with English and then improve your English and you will speak more confidently. So wherever you want to, if you want to go for English language, in, you know, the number of hours in a day is 24 hours. So how much time do you spend with English is basically what will lead to your English speaking skills or English writing skills. So if you have been reading news in Hindi, try to read, in, uh, read it in English. It may be difficult to start with, but gradually, 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 the more number of minutes or the more number of hours you deal in English is finally going to make you a good speaker of English. Writing an application in English or writing a reminder for your, for your day in English, speaking to people in English, listening to English, listening to English commentary, English, even English music sometimes, listening to English <clears throat> sorry, this um, uh, news uh, commentary. So the point I'm trying to make in a nutshell is the more you expose yourself to English language, the better communication skills in English you will get. If you shy away from English, uh, in, uh, you are not uh, speaking English, you are not listening to English, you are not writing English, you are not reading English, don't expect your English language to get better. Dressing sense, you need to know what is called as a formal attire, what is called as a casual attire. You need to be dressed formally in case of an interview. Why are you told to be in uniform in a school? Why? Because you are expected to be in a formal attire. You, know, you, you, you do not go in a jeans and a t-shirt to an interview. Why? Because that is considered to be as a casual attire. Right? So what is casual? What is formal? What is party wear? You must know it. Right? So why? Because different occasions demand different dressings. You do not go to a picnic spot wearing a tie and wearing a blazer coat, do you? No, you don't, because that place is for relaxation. You want to be in, in a launch trousers, or you want to be in um, in your tees, or you want to be something which you are comfortable in. But when it comes to office, you need to be formally dressed. If it's an interview, even more formally dressed. Then you need to know uh, what shoes do we call as formal. Uh, I don't think time allows us to go into detail, but sometimes uh, you know if we have a detailed conversation i would like to go through that so polished shoes we generally call as formal shoes then <clears throat> what is casual attire what is semi casual attire what is semi formal attire what is fad what is style and what is fashion wear right so again fashion style wear is formal fad is uh, something which is totally casual so i will not be able to explain the dressing sense in uh, in, in 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 a minute or ten, two minutes or five minutes so it, it's a full fledged lecture on dressing sense right but the point i'm trying to make in your mind is that you a good personality demands that you know when to wear what when to wear what so you must know when it is occasion to dress formally to dress casually or to dress semi-formally or semi-casually right so that's then you must have some basic computer literacy if you do not, are not having you're lacking somewhere you need to have social etiquette. You know, need to know what is self-service. You need to know what is a buffet. You need to know. You need to know. You need to know uh, what is uh, how to eat, where to eat, what is demanded. That's very important in case of social etiquette, right? 
then the last points i talked about self confidence positive thinking it's about being opti- uh, you know uh, it's about optimism and you need to have these things that makes your personality good again i'm try to you know uh, sort of pack it in a um, uh, small packet it's a big topic but then we have to somehow conclude so i'll go to the concluding slide of it um so if by this time if not by this time by the end of the day you if you have identified your need for personality development so what do you do nothing specific to be done agar aapko lagta hai if you think that there is a need of you to go for a personality development you can you can find a lot of material you can get a booklet for yourself or there are there are a lot of things you can go to a library and pick up a small booklet which talks about personality development it carries all the uh, you know the previous slide which it said um, at um, social etiquette um, communication skills um, dressing wear all of it is taken care of it's very simple actually you can go and self study and important is that you practice that you will go for a morning walk for one day and leave it the second day it's not going to work you will you, you want to have good uh, command or english language but you don't want to read in english news paper you don't want to li- listen to english news it's not going to work right or you may choose a course of course there are a lot of courses available on the internet on online mode as well though i believe offline training uh, of development programs are better uh, but uh, given the scenarios we live in now a lot of uh, courses available online but then you need to uh, enroll for a good organization a research circle is one you say for example i don't know if they go for paid personality development programs or not there are so many other organizations choose a good trainer for yourself right and then uh, what do you do don't go for too expensive programs it is something very simple it's not something that you are studying rocket science or you are studying something it just just a brush up of your personality right so choose a program for yourself if you think you can, you're not able to self study and you're not able to do it of your own to so choose a mentor and go for it and the last point on the slide is very very important more than anything else follow and practice the learnings whatever developmental program you have gone through be it today's session or be it the session you may be joining uh, maybe in the times to come what's more important is that you need to practice that say if we talk about um, communication skills physical fitness computer skills you need to make it a daily routine it's not something that you learn it today and throw it off tomorrow whatever in case of personality development you take up it has to be practiced over and over again that means you have to make it as a habit you have to make it as a habit right it's not like personality development does not work that way it's not, not does not work like like small mobile phone uh, mobile um, repairing training it does not work like that you have to imbibe it in yourself so if you are going for a morning walk today if you are in your 20s you should be doing a morning walk in your 30s as well in your 40s as well so if you want to have a better personality it is a continuous process till it becomes a habit and it no more troubles you right so last um, uh, line i'll go through again more than anything else you need to follow and practice the learnings of whatever the development program you have chosen for yourself that's the key mere attending programs makes no sense at all you let in the program forget it doesn't make sense uh, you have been a wonderful audience thank you thank you research circle as well and uh, this is my email id uh, if you would like to get in i would love to get in touch with you if you would like you know to get in touch with me this is my email id i can be in connect contact with you um uh, over to you sakshi i think if there is any question or something uh, i need to repeat please thank you so much sir for the very informative and demonstrative session we will ask our participant to put your question in a comment box we will try to provide the answer by dr uh, rafiq learn below the comments sure thank you so much all the participants for your active participation let me inform to all that this complete session will available on your uh, our research circle youtube channel so if you want to watch it again or want to share it somebody please to visit the research circle youtube channel thanks and the last but the not the least uh, thank you dr uh, rafiq leon for taking our time 
for session uh, with your permission i would like to end today's session here sure thank sure please thank you thank you for hosting me